Hi everyone, welcome to Java Tiki. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to upload an image into a database and then download it back. Okay, alright. So this tutorial will be useful if you are implementing any real world application where you need to store the images and then send them back to the user when they requested. So there are multiple ways to store the images, store image in database or there is another approach you can store the image in file system. So in approach one, you can directly store image as a binary file to the database where while storing the image you can compress it and while retrieving you can directly decompress it for more secure. In approach 2, you will simply store an image to the file system and just store the path of that image or file to the database which is quite simple. Now you might have a question when to use this approach. Well, let me tell you. Suppose if you want more secure access and less frequently used images then we should go with the database approach because getting an image from DV involves a lot of steps so definitely it will create a delay. However, getting an image from a server file system is straightforward and the file system approach is preferred if you want faster access like for web application where the image is used frequently. So based on our need we need to choose the correct approach. In this example, I will demonstrate approach 1 where we will directly store image into the database, we will just compress it and while retrieving we will just decompress it. Let's quickly create a project from scratch. So let's get started. Let's jump to the IntelliJ idea, then we'll create a new project. Click on File, New, Project. Then click Next. Then I'll just specify the group ID as com.javatiki. Artifact ID, I'll specify something like Storage Service. Fine, I'll give the same artifact ID as my project name. We'll change the JDK version to 8. Then we'll just specify the package name com.javatiki that's it now click on next I'll just add Lombok dependency then I'll just add Spring Web dependency since we want to integrate with the DB I will just add JPA and I will use MySQL connector okay I believe that's fine now let me click next finish this it will take few seconds to import the project Next, let's just create couple of packages. Go to the SRC main. Then I'll just create a package called new package. I'll name it entity. Then I'll create another package called service. There is a spelling mistake. Let me refactor it. Then I'll create another one called repository then I can use the main class as a controller that's fine I'm not going to create any package so for okay I need to create another package called util there I will write the logic to compress and decompress the byte array or the image okay I'll just use util now first let me create the entity Java class I'll give the entity name as image data or you can give file data anything you can specify okay this is just a class now here I will add couple of field like ID name type then the byte array okay so I'll just add ID name type and byte array since this is my entity I need to annotate other the right entity then I need to specify the table I'll give the name of the table as a image data you can give any name here. Since I am using Lombok, I can directly use data annotation for getter and setter and I can use all argument constructor. Then I can use no argument constructor. Okay, that's fine. And then I need to define this as a ID which will be my primary key. And I want this to be auto generated. So I can specify here the strategy. Generation type identity okay now 
this is the field image data which will be convert my file to the byte array and will store in the dv so since this is my binary format i just need to define one annotation called lob okay so this is how you can perform the this particular operation by byte array so you need to define this annotation if you want to store any binary format in your db and then i can define the column so as part of the column i can define the name of it the name of that column will be same image data and if you want you can specify the length but that is not mandatory you can specify some certain length i will specify 1000 that's it we are good with our entity so next let's just create our repository class so i will just create a new interface i'll name it storage repository or something like that okay i just need to extend it from jpa repository then i just need to define the type as my entity uh, the first argument which will be image data then the next type generic should be primary key data type of your primary key so the image data primary key will be type long so i just need to specify here data type as a long here then i'll just write one method to find the image by name so I, what i'll do i'll just write a syntax find by name so i just need to give the file name or image name anything you can specify and what it will return it will just return me the uh, image data fine so better i just need to use the optional it's fine we can directly return the image data but it's good practice to use the optional okay then let's start writing our service so i'll just create a new class java class storage service something like that okay then i'll just annotate here at the red service i just need to inject my repo here so i'll just inject using auto add private storage repository i can inject using auto add now i need to write a method to store the image and to retrieve the image from the db so i can write something like public who will return me the string upload image i am specifying for upload image but you can change it to the upload file or anything you can specify then i need the object file object so in spring mbc approach the file information you can get from one class that is called multi part file okay if you observe this came from org spring framework dot web dot multi part so just choose the correct import statement then i can specify file now since i injected my repo i can directly use repository dot save it will save the image data object and that image data object i need to build actually because i have the file info now i just need to build the entity object so what i can do i can directly use image data dot builder dot this method seems not present so what i need to do i just need to annotate here at the red builder or else you can define the static name inside all argument constructor and you can build it it's fine any approach you can follow now just use builder then i just need to provide the first field is name right so i will just give the name which will be file dot get original file name fine then the next field is okay let me format your dot type then the type of the file which you are uploading so i can get it from file dot get content type okay then the next field is uh, what is the field let me check image data we have name type id will be auto generated next will be image data so i will just use image data then i need to give the byte array here right i can type file dot get bytes this is fine okay let me build it this is fine this will work but i don't want to keep the hard coded image file or the file information i just want to compress it before i store into the db 
so what i'll do i'll just write a class new java class i will give just something like image utils then here i will write a method to compress the image while storing into the db and to decompress the image while retrieving it so let me add these two method you can use the same code i will share the code over the github so you can use the same class okay let me add the input statement fine okay fine we are good with the compress and decompress method this is the utility method even i copied from the google you can use the same method i will share the source code since this is the static i no need to define this as my component i can directly access these two method using the class name so what i'll do before store i just want to compress it so i can use image utils dot compress the image give the byte array so i think we need to handle the exception that's fine now once this will be save it will give you the it will return you the image data object right so just add that to the local variable then if i will just simply write if image data not equal to null it means the object is saved in the db correctly then i'll just return some string okay file uploaded successfully then i can also define the file name so i can define something like file dot get original file name okay this is what my return statement otherwise just return the null so i will just add a return statement as a null this is fine for upload the image now next i need to write a method to download the image so what i will do i will simply write public who will return me the byte array then i will specify the method name download image okay and to get the image i need to give any information so i'll just give image name or file name next based on this file name i will fetch the image data object from the db then i'll just decompress it and then i'll just return it back so for that what i need to do um repository dot find by name right the method name we define find by name who will return us the optional of image data so just give the file name then it will simply return you the image data object from the db so i'll just image i'll just name it db image data okay now once i get the object from the db i just need to decompress it image utils dot decompress the image fine so i can do something like db image data dot get dot get image data this is what the actual binary file we have in our object right if you go to the image data this is what the binary information we have so i just need to decompress that particular field now it will return me the object as a byte array so i'll just specify byte array images then i just need to return the same so we are good with the upload image and download image method now i'll just write the controller class so i'll just use the main class here i need to annotate at the rate right rest controller then i'll define the two endpoint one for upload the image so that it will store in the db and the second endpoint will fetch the image from the db by file name so just write the method public so let's return the response entity and we'll set the value at run time then method name i'll specify upload image since we are using the multipath file we just need to use the request param okay and we need to define the attribute or key before um, adding your file okay so for that what i will keep the request param attribute as a anything you can define for me like for this particular example i am defining image should be key Need, this need to be present while uploading your file and you just need to define your multi part file fine so to access the service from controller i need to inject the service first private storage service i can inject using 
auto add the next what i need to do i will simply call the method service dot upload image and i will give the file it will return me the okay there is a exception you need to handle it either you can handle or you can delegate introduce local variable which will be upload image response now simply i can return the response entity object response entity dot give the status it should be http status okay okay then the body should be the response which i will get from the after upload image that's it i am just specifying the status code and the response so i'll just use this as a post mapping and then if you want you can define the url for each method but i will just define the url at class level itself so i'll just define request mapping give the url image okay now the next method i need to write for download the image let me just write the method public who will return me the again response entity of type generic then i will name it download and give the image name or you can specify the file name then i need to define this as part of request url so i'll just use path variable annotation and then i need to define the url get mapping and i will just define this particular field fine next just call the method from service service dot download the image give the file name it will return you the byte array okay you can name image value or image data anything now this is the byte array and this will return us a image because we are going to upload a image but again you can make it dynamic i will show you how you can do that now i will just use return response entity dot status this should be okay then i just need to define the content type since i know i am going to upload a image file so i can specify the content type as a media type media type dot value of you can define what exact data type you are expecting to return so for me i can specify image dot png if it is a text or any word file or document file you can define plain slash text okay that field also you can make dynamic the way you are giving the file name at run time or as part of request url you can specify what format you are expecting from your db since i am going to demonstrate with any picture so i specify image slash png then next you just need to define the body body is nothing the byte array what i just want to return that's it so we are good with the controller service and we are created entity repo but since we want to integrate with our db we just need to specify the data source related properties right so let me add it these are the driver class name url username and password and these are hibernate specific um, uh, key and value okay so now the port will be run on 9191 that is good now let me start this application i will just run from here it will take few second to start so if you observe it started and then it created the table okay image data now let's verify the same in our db so i'll just refresh it you can see the table here right so i'll just add a sql editor to check whether there is any entry or not select star from table name is image data just run it there is no data present so far 
so let's go to the postman and hit these two endpoint i'll go to the postman so the first endpoint will be http localhost 9191 then image let me cross check the url is slash image okay and then we need to add a file here so go to the body go to the form data key you need to provide image because this is what the request param we specified right let me copy this go to the postman key should be image and the type there is option you can choose the type it should be file now click on select file choose any of the file let me choose any image here let me take any image from here let's say this one okay now click on open so file name photo hyphen new hyphen icon now let me send the request okay before that it should be post fine that is what the post mapping now hit the request you can see here file uploaded successfully this is what the file name now let's verify in the db before retrieve it you can see here id is 1 and the name of the file let me expand this and type slash image slash png and this is what the data in encrypted format or uh, compressed format now let's retrieve it go to the postman and hit the get api which is slash image then give the image name now send the request you can see the image here right so if you will run this in the browser this will be more visible you can see the image which is there in the dv so while loading it we are just decompress the image and we are returning it back and based on the type we are specifying here so if you'll check here here we are just decompress the image now let's try to add one more user or one more image go to the this then i'll just choose another file you can choose any file guys let me go inside okay this is what my java tech logo i will just upload this send the request it got saved just copy the name of it and check in the db we should found two entry okay the file name is this now go to the postman then just do the get call with the file name okay just send the request you can see the image right now if i'll hit the same from the browser it will be more clear for me okay so this is how you can write your logic to upload and download image to the dv so if you remember there are two approach we discuss the first approach store image in the database that is what we perform and the second approach store image in the file system do let me know in a comment section if you guys are interested to know this approach so that that will be my next video based on your boat that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept